good morning everyone good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome uh, to this fireside chat at neons fourth or fifth conference so congratulations to exchange for media team and thanks for inviting us i represent add on mo uh, which is the largest digital out of home uh, publisher in india and we are joined by mr ajay mehta in today's fireside chat and uh, ajay generally doesn't need any introduction he is a celebrity in the oh media world he has added a lot of change and bringing lot of transformation in the industry so uh, ajay welcome to this fireside chat uh, can you hear me ajay will need a mic okay i guess i'm actually yeah. loud with the <laughs> so yeah. welcome to this chat and uh, you have led transformation in the industry for many years you've been driving current transformation and defining future rules we have a lot to learn today and get a download from you and uh, so welcome thank you uh, so we are observing the industry is observing a lot of transformation right now with uh, with various technologies interplaying infrastructure changing lot of new companies thanks to lim uh leticia thank you i think this was a great presentation and a lot to learn uh now you've been observing change now change we can potentially see with technology is either building transparency like we saw in terms of reach of media itself which has been a kind of a question that has been bothering brands and marketers for many years uh it also helps in bringing uh, agility in terms of turn around time today on various digital platforms out of home platforms you can activate a campaign on the fly which was not the case in terms of uh, what we saw earlier so there is transformation happening uh, today reach can be figured out transparently agility interactivity today i can hear out the audiences which was not the case earlier you can interact with 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 various media how do you see this change and what's uh, the future hi uh, thank you firstly i don't think uh, even half of what rajiv said about me is true so that's a marketer's exaggeration but thank you nevertheless um uh, firstly i want to talk about what is digital out of form right uh, i don't think the industry at large understands what is digital out of form most of the time if there's a screen put up at any point at any place people assume that is digital out of form for me that is not i mean all we are doing is you're changing a static image to a video or a gif or whatever uh, but that really doesn't qualify for me anything which is powered by ad tech right where technology is an enabler uh, to make it more contextual to make it more relevant uh that that is digital out of form and if we put that filter or or look at doh from that prism we are really at the first stage or taking baby steps uh in in this in this direction so so let's get that out of the way we are very early in the doh uh, revolution or the do, doh uh, journey as far as measurement as far as uh, you know analytics and everything else is concerned um, when when you asking me that question what i was remembering was a quote from uh, david ogilvy which said 50% of advertising is wasted uh, but the question is which 50% right so when when we move down uh, this route or this journey of of enabling advertising through technology and data what what we are doing is ensuring that 50% wastage uh reduces if not goes away and and makes the whole thing more relevant i'm pretty new to the out of home space but when i joined i looked at the overall uh tyny numbers which group m publishes every year and i found a really a uh, weird uh trend when it came to out of home if you really look at it from a five year perspective and add inflation to it this industry hasn't grown right uh, it's probably it probably grows 
less than inflation. I'm not talking about the COVID years, but just overall, if you look at it, COVID years obviously dampened us uh, even further. And one of the reasons, according to me, uh, why, why this is the case is that uh, there was no measurement around it. There was no uh, knowing. Uh, we did not move with the times. We did not move into the digitized world. Uh, we were the oldest medium and we seem to be happy uh, being, uh, uh, being the oldest medium. What this revolution which you spoke about, the modern infrastructure, the, the technology, what it does is it brings the oldest uh, industry into the digital world. And as we move in that direction, uh, we have an opportunity of becoming uh, not an industry which is not growing, but, but probably the fastest growing segment of the media industry. Sure, I think uh, that uh, opens up a lot of interesting questions. Switching very quickly to the next part, which again I will uh, bring up Leticia's presentation. Data is gold. Now DOH or OOH will become DOH largely with, with data intervention, like you just mentioned. Now, data could be used for audience indicators, their preferences, location-based indicators. So let me quickly tell you on, at, at uh, like 30 seconds on it. So add on more, we have built around a screen network of 30,000 plus. By end of the year, we should be 50,000 plus screens. And we are capturing a lot of first party data at a location level, at an audience level, their preference, their engagement with media with regards to dwell time, with regards to their interaction, how are they behaving when yes, they're seeing the ad, various things. So first party data on how can I plan better, et cetera. Now, so that's what we are trying to do our bit to the digital side of uh, the business. How do you see this happening across a larger expanse of uh, out of home? Data coming into play, data being utilized and data being trusted uh, in previous presentation, I was about to ask Leticia, saying, you are saying this data, perfect. Is there a third party layer of validation? Do you see that happening in due course? Or how will this data story shape up? So I read somewhere 80% of the data stored on uh, the internet is location-based data. Right? Uh, and what is out of home? It is location-based advertising. So the relevance of data to out of home uh, advertising or location data to out of home advertising cannot be overstated. So let's get that completely clear. Uh, you spoke about third party verification, of course. I mean, one of the uh, faults of, of this industry or, or of this ecosystem is that we haven't united uh, in the way some of the other industries or some of the other mediums have. Getting third party verification is an essential and not just from anyone, from an extremely credible source. I mean, I don't even think, I mean, it's funny that in 2023 we are even debating or talking about that. that that's a given. And we sh the quicker we move into that direction, the better it is. Uh, the question is, how do you go about it? How do you make sure it is credible? How do you make sure it is um, uh, accepted by the industry? Today, um, you spoke about add-on more and the 30,000 screens going to 50,000 screens. Just a basic uh, back of the envelope calculation and we were just discussing it earlier, uh, would actually make add-on more larger than some of the print, uh, leading print media uh, owners uh, or the reach which, which the print media provides. But when it comes to your share or, or the share of even digital out of home in, in the total pie, you can't even compare it to print. So therein that lies the opportunity and that you're just one of the players, right? Taking that as an example. And you uh, look at it touch point after touch point, digital network after digital network, and the opportunity is immense. I mean, we, as I said earlier, we are one of the older uh, mediums Digital out of home and data intervention can make us the newest medium. Digital out of home is a separate medium as far as I'm concerned than traditional out of home. It is at a cusp, we are at an inflection point. 
if we get it right we are poised for 10 years of or 20 years uh, of superlative growth if we get it wrong we are living we are going to be living in a flat industry with hardly any growth and an anarchic uh, way of functioning so according to me there is no choice the quicker we do this the better it is and what i find is every network or every agency is going down its own direction with no common standards with no common um, parameters on how to judge uh, audiences etc and that needs to change absolutely i think you are absolutely right i think we need to come together as an industry and identify various so natural segue from this discussion becomes talking about the elephant in the room uh, roi modeling if i am putting x amount what am i getting in return and that leads to attribution so a lot of times we have observed in fact to our teams we've got a pretty large team of 200 plus people uh, we tell them don't pick up budgets that are like mercy money we we use that term i i learned from someone recently no mercy money because if you take mercy money you get it once you kill the client forever so that's uh, so with lack of attribution and with lack of data which will bring to attribution there will be challenges in terms of growth etc so what is the industry doing uh, as per uh, say kinetic is the largest uh, agency group m has the largest access to brands and information everything what do you think in terms of attribution and roi modeling where we we should be knowing audiences interaction there should be a, like we just saw in the previous presentation a marriage between devices and uh, measuring individuals and maybe not their ids uh, india will adopt a gdpr plus plus we are going to do control c control v and add five more points it's going to be complex data management future with that as a given how will roi models get built and how will attribution shape up so firstly what we are doing i'm not going to reveal in this room a lot of my friends and competitors are sitting over here so that's not something i'm going to talk about but firstly i think before you before i answer your question directly do people in the room realize that it is a responsibility as media owners as media agencies to provide roi to clients that is for me the essential question uh it when someone invests in our medium it is our responsibility to showcase what we deliver for them if we don't like yeah. you said and i like the term mercy money uh you know we we will be doing a disservice not just to the client but to ourselves and the industry will never grow attribution today when everyone uh, has has a smartphone in their pocket and like i spoke uh, earlier about location data being uh, widely available is something which which is very easy to do it is something which is naturally one should be doing it and if you ask me why uh, enough of it is not happening is because i don't think we've up upskilled or upgraded our teams our work uh, the people in this industry to be able to do that till the time we don't do that any kind of roi uh, calculations roi modeling uh, is not going to be uh, is is not going to happen in a meaningful manner the first step before you go down on this journey is to upgrade and upskill our own selves and bring ourselves uh, and the entire ecosystem into this digital and data driven world the moment you do that and you can confidently speak uh, about uh, roi and and uh, you know stuff like that to clients and your orientation changes today there are enough models available in, from the digital ecosystem which can be adapted and applied to the out of home world so the first thing for me is actually to start with our own people fantastic i think that that is a very critical point that you've highlighted uh, adoption will be a function of knowledge 
and acceptance of change around completely with you. There can't be a discussion that can be completed today without artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, Google has released a, a kind of an answer to chat GPT called BARD. Uh, again, not available in the European Union for their own GDPR norms, etc. Now, artificial intelligence, can it be applied in OH? Seems like a far-fetched thought, but if you think about it, it could be used for various things. It could be used for uh, dynamic creative optimization. It could be used for uh, measurement. It could be used for mood and uh, kind of a sentiment analysis on if I saw the creative, was I upset, happy, etc. Unlimited scope that comes to mind. Process automation is the least. Honestly speaking, programmatic in digital is largely to step one is automation. In artificial intelligence usage, that goes without saying. Looks like out of home industry will have to leap uh, and jump and move to the next stage and maybe adopt the future of technology today. How do you see artificial intelligence? which is going to be touching everybody's life and every business, every brand, and OOH, and where do you think that collaboration can happen? So, uh, you gave some examples of where it can be used. According to me, the first stage where it can get used is predictive analysis, right? What is the reach which uh, a campaign can deliver that can be predicted uh, through artificial uh, intelligence? We all speak about measurement, but uh, measurement is a... Uh, post facto event. Uh, it begins with actually predicting or, or for us as an industry which is between 2, 3, 4 percent depending on which uh, uh, report you go by is to first convince the client to invest in this medium and there artificial intelligence can play a huge role. Uh, also um, the internet of things, right? Uh, object recognition, face recognition, mood uh, uh, recognition all of those can help us calculate the ROIs in a much stronger manner. Um, something which this industry is not doing much or doing it very slowly. People uh, or organizations who will move down this journey will create a lot of value, uh, such as what, what you guys have created with, with your fundraise and, and I think that's just a first step in, in a long journey. Uh, it will also convince a lot of clients to invest a lot more because if we keep playing in the out of home pie, it's one of the last budgets to get approved. A lot of it is mercy money. A lot of it is savings from another medium. But the moment you bring artificial intelligence uh, and other technologies into uh, this, what, what you're doing is you're opening up to reach out to the digital budgets, which we all know today are the larger budgets. And there is a certain fatigue which is already coming into digital advertising which set into out of home advertising a few years ago. And the moment you use technologies like this, you are refreshing not just digital but also out of home. And answering questions and talking in a language which clients today speak internally and expect to be spoken to. So, so for me, artificial intelligence is a huge game changer. It's something which we are investing in. And we think that is going to be the next leap forward for the out form industry. Perfect. I think uh, that, was, uh, that was very reassuring that you are adopting it and you will be guiding the path uh, for the industry as well. Uh, we are happy to collaborate as a company. We, are, we work closely and uh, we are sitting on a lot of data that we believe can be leveraged, uh, etc. So conclusion looks like there is no way that data, technology, artificial intelligence will not intervene with out of home. Like you said, manpower needs to be equipped first. We need to accept, enable, move on. I think we need to take a pledge that next year when we are back in the conference, uh, today I want you to rate where do we stand on digital transformation. You are driving so you can give a number and next year we should be at least two points ahead of that and give some advice to all friends, colleagues, and industry veterans sitting uh, in the hall on what should be done to make this move faster. So to date it on a scale of uh, 0 to 10, I think we are at probably 0.1 or 0.2. I think we are that slow. Um, and I think as you spoke, 
India specializes in leaping technologies, uh, right? Uh, we go from one generation of technology to the fifth, yeah. missing two, three, four. Uh, and that, that's really my ambition for, for not just um, group I'm out of home and kinetic, but also for the industry at large. So I think in a year's time, we should be reaching three, four. Uh, if we don't, we are doing a disservice to ourselves. Um, and, sorry, what is Any that? other advice yeah, that so can the make first, things faster? I have only two pieces of advice and two pieces of thoughts rather. I'm nobody to advise uh, anyone. But two pieces uh, of thoughts are first, recognizing that change is the only constant. And if we don't change with the times, we'll get left behind. And if we recognize and accept that, which, which is always difficult, uh, because we are set in our ways, a lot of people have been uh, in the media industry for the last 20, 30 years and never needed to change that much, uh, is first recognizing that change is the only constant and the, uh, the world belongs to people who change with the times, otherwise you get left behind. And second is upskilling yourselves and our teams to capture this opportunity. You do these two things, the opportunity is extremely large. The opportunity is now, uh, and, and as the previous speaker spoke, uh, globally it is already happening. So there's no reason why, why it shouldn't happen here. But it begins with ourselves about our own recognition that we need to change and then moving in that direction to actually make that change. Fantastic. So I am very motivated as add-on more. Uh, we are committed and we would like to contribute inching from point one to maybe four next time. We need a leap jump. Thanks a lot for your time and thanks for being so patient with us. Thank, Thank you, you so much.